Are you told, you know, explicitly protect the quarterback? Is that? Yes. Okay. There's no question. That is the referee's number one priority. It has, it was in 1998, in 2001, when I became a referee, and it, and it, and it continues into this year. There's no question. That's their number one priority. Is this for ratings? Well, I, I think it, it's for, you know, and, and the NFL is an entertainment business, and the game is better with the starting quarterbacks in. I mean, you've got 32 quarterbacks that are extremely important. Most of them are the franchise player of the team, and, and that's ha- who they want to stay in the game. Some teams have really good backups, as I think we're seeing with uh, C.J. Beathard in, in San Francisco, who's been pretty impressive. But not every team does. And fans want to see the offense. They want to see the starting quarterback the guy that's, that's, that's really going to make their team exciting, and that's, that's the way the NFL's operated. It feels like, I, and I know the quarterbacks, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers, hey, we don't like this rule here, but then Ben acts like he, you know, was knocked down with a, you know, a, a lightning bolt the other game when he got hit in the helmet, and he goes, oh, I may have played that up a little bit. Feels like if I'm a quarterback, I can publicly say, oh, I don't want to be treated differently. But if, I, if I'm trying to win a game, I'm going to work you guys, work the refs the entire time. So how do you differentiate between what is real and what is not? Well, you, you, you have to use your experience. You know, in real time, do you see forcible contact? Do you see a clear violation of the spirit and the intent of the rule? And, and what the player does, his reaction to that, you, you've pretty, got to dismiss, pretty much got to dismiss that. And, and, and not make a call on, on, you know, did he fake it or, or, or did he fall or did he, you know, Hollywood it or, or whatever, and just deal with the action itself by what, what, hap- what the defender did to the quarterback. And, and it's tough. It, it, it is tough in real time because you do see players, and it's not just the quarterback, the, the receivers. How many times have you seen them throw their hands up? How many times have you oh, seen yeah. the, the defensive lineman throw his hands up because he thinks he's being held and, and trying to buy it? it ha- every player does it, and it's just the official's job to decide, did it really happen or is he trying to buy one? The best acting quarterback that you ever dealt with? Um, who, who could really be put on a performance there that you weren't quite sure? I, you know, I, I, I want to say Jay Cutler might have been in that in that in that mode. Uh, <laughs> Phil Rivers uh, might 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 fall into that category, <laughs> but but really all of them all of them do it. I, I mean, I, and I say all of them. I I've seen. Let's put it this way: I've seen everyone do it at least once. Uh, to be fair. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.